Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be creating a mirrored tray. I'll first be creating um, a square on top of this mirror with the popsicle sticks that I got from the Dollar Tree. And the reason why I'm creating a square is because I want to be able to glue the shower curtain rings on, on the square and instead of on the mirror. This way I'm able to take it outside and spray paint it. Now that I've formed my square, I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue all the popsicle sticks together. And I'm now just going to go over the popsicle sticks one more time to make sure um, everything is secure. And now I'm going to start gluing my shower curtain rings onto the popsicle sticks. I'm going to be using a total of 12 um, shower curtain rings. And I'll be using three rings per side. And I'm going to hold the shower curtain ring down until the hot glue dries. If you don't wait till it's partially dry, it's going to fall back down. <laughs> also, I made my hula hoop and shower curtain ring table out of shower curtain rings. And a lot of people were asking if it's sturdy. It's actually very sturdy. You just have to use the E6000 glue. If you do not use the glue, it will not last. And I also tested the shower curtain rings. I glued a couple of them together with hot glue and E6000 and I tried to pull them apart and a couple of the shower curtain rings popped and like broke in half. So that should tell you how strong it is. The shower curtain ring gave in quicker than the E6000 did. So after I glue the shower curtain rings down, I am gonna go uh, back with my E6000 and I'm going to go and basically cover everything, every nook and crevice. And I'm going to put the E6000 on the opposite side um, of the rings. So as you saw earlier, I put it, the hot glue gun on the outside of the rings. I'm putting the E6000 on the inside. And after this dries, I'm going to spray paint the whole thing silver. And now that I spray painted it, I'm going to now glue the top of my tray to my mirror. And now that it's dry, I'm going to start gluing my circular mirrors on to the shower curtain rings. And I wish I would have shown how I am um, putting the glue on the mirror. I, I didn't think about that part. I apologize. But what I am doing is putting the glue on the edge of the mirror, like really right on the edge, because as you can see, uh, the mirror is barely touching the um, shower curtain ring. So basically I'm putting um, hot glue on the top and bottom. I know it's a circle, but I'm putting the hot glue on the top and the bottom of the circle. And then on the sides of the circle, I'm using um, E6000 glue. 
So I am using a combination of E6000 glue and hot glue. And now that I'm done gluing the mirrors on the outside, I am going to go on the inside with the E6000 to make sure that everything is going to be secure. And as you can see, I also added mirrors on the inside and I basically did them the same way. And now I'm going to take my bling wrap and just go and cover the blemishes. And I'm also going to add a trim on the bottom of the tray. Next, I'm going to take more bling wrap and cover the top of the shower curtains. I honestly wish I would have thought about this first um, because I would have done it before I glued the shower curtain rings down. Well, actually, I had to spray paint the shower curtain rings. So maybe not. And the last thing I thought of was adding some height to the tray. So I cut out a total of five pieces of popsicle sticks and just glued them together. And I cut a piece of my leftover chrome paper plate and I'm gonna be using that to glue around. And after I'm done with all four, I'm going to glue each piece to each corner. And my tray is complete. I really love this tray. It was so inexpensive. It is so beautiful to me. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you like the tray. Thank you so much. And also, if you would like a reminder of when I post my new videos, hit the bell on the bottom of this video.